Hello Gemini, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you were definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Gemini, let's get straight into it. As the title suggests, I'm sure that you saw it, it is the 2023 big energies. Now, primarily I will be focusing on love, your personal life, but bear in mind that I will also be lightly discussing career, if there's travel, anything with family, finances, I will be covering all of it. So first I will be using tarot. I'll be starting off with the Archangel Power Tarot cards. And once I finish you know, doing the tarot and clarifying, I'm going to move on to all the added energies. So it's really for the collective watching this, the big energies um, that you should be expecting for 2023. So let's get straight into it. Here we go for Gemini, please. I'll clear the deck first. Now, bear in mind, Gemini, there will be no extendeds for this reading. As I want to make this reading, this is the last uh, reading for this year, but I will be back next week, of course. Uh, I just want to make sure that this is a full reading and you get pretty much everything that you, that, you know, the collective um, wants to hear, that your spirit team wants to tell you. So here we go for Gemini, please. 2023 the big energies and also just apologies if you hear the fan running um, in the background it's just absolutely stinking hot where I am right now and if I were to do this without the air conditioner on I'd probably pass out so if you hear that in the background I do apologize though all right we're saying two more I'm doing a really good shuffle here for my lovely Jimmy Jams for Gemini 2023 please the big energies for the collective all right here we go the only drawback is that as much as I love these cards they are very wide and I've got small hands so it can be a bit tough to shuffle they said three more oh let's do this correctly two more and last one for Gemini please all right here we go so we've got the big love energies and anything else that comes along i will also mention it for you so here we go what is underneath what is unseen for 2023 for you gemini well already we start off the year with someone already watching you so the page of michael is the page of swords and that is ruled by you we've got gemini uh libra and aquarius energy here what I really like here is that you're going to get the truth. You're going to get some news. We do know that at the base of all pages that they do mean messages here. In fact, it says here an exciting new challenge that you have what it takes to succeed. Review documents and contracts very thoroughly. You may be signing something. If you've pitched an idea, if you're going to take on a new job, whatever it is that you're signing, just look at it. So with this card, I always say do not be afraid to negotiate. That way everyone can have a win-win situation here as well. But this is the ultimate communicator. It is the true messenger. So it appears that pretty early on in the year, I'm going to say January, February, someone comes forward to tell you something. It is the truth. It's what you want to hear, Gemini. And you are all about communication. More, please. Wow. You literally got one of my... Look at this. You got two tens. Now, remember, the tens are an end of a cycle. And I'm going to tell you right now, the end of a tough cycle for you. And that is... Oh, that's good. We can breathe a sigh of relief. Now, the Ten of Ariel here is the Ten of Pentacles. Lots and lots of money here. A lot of groundness here. It says here, there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement. A rich and rewarding family life. Now, this is someone here that may approach you in regards to having it all again with you once more. I know that sounds like, oh, here we go again. But um, some of you actually may put a final end to this. And I'll get to that in a minute because that is you. That is strictly Gemini energy. This is all about security, stability, commitment, even marriage. It's the family card here as well. It's about the children, having the house, the dog, the dream home. So someone very well just flat out may just get straight to the truth. None of how are you, Gemini house things. It's like, hey, Gemini, I want this with you again, despite things ending. So I'm seeing here that either... Either we go back to this person and we try to rekindle it and make it stronger than ever, or we put an end to this as we take the final bow as the ballerina is doing right here. And that is you, that is strictly Gemini energy, the Ten of Swords. A situation has ended. So it's not going to end in 2023. This has already ended or it's coming close to an end. You're at the tail end of this. 
and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will follow. Put the past behind you. How amazing is that? That's when we hit rock bottom, but no more because the only way to go is up, right? Absolutely. I'm, I'm really seeing here that the person that cheated on you the most, that deceived you the most, where you felt you had not 10,000 10, daggers in your back, <laughs> because this is about loss, ending, separation, divorce, they are still watching you, keeping tabs on you somehow, uh, because they realize I couldn't have had it all with you. And there we've got you again. So you're coming out really strong already in your overall energy. We've got the magician and that is Gemini Virgo energy there. It's about brand new beginnings. Where there is an ending, we have a brand new beginning here. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear successful beginnings here. So yes, I see you a lot of you signing some contracts that will definitely go your way, which means what the end of tough times here as well, such as purchasing a new business, a franchise, a home, even leasing a new home. If you've, you know, it just some kind of, <coughs> excuse me, some kind of agreement which shows the end of tough times and it's, it's the beginning of something amazing. But you've got the high priestess. We've got to keep our mouth closed. Pisces energy. Look at that. The high priestess right there it says a powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace gemini mm, yeah look at that we've got the true card of love the two of cups two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful kindred spirits don't give up on those you love i've always been saying that when i see the two of cups so there is something here for one your person you know who this person is they know you they are secretly watching you Secretly thinking, okay, this ended badly. I would like a new beginning. They haven't done anything yet, though. But the high priestess for you is saying now is not the time to be telling everyone what you have signed. Um, any big deals that you're making, we've got to keep it quiet. Some of you actually may find also love at work. But let's get to the main love energies for 2023. We always have the beautiful Queen of Gabriel, which is the Queen of Wands. So some of you may be kind of looking at 2023 with a lot of ambition, a lot of gusto, a lot of passion here, a lot of love. It says you can do anything right now. And you know that you can, Gemini. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. It's the right people this time. So I'm seeing that even though we may have someone that you know, they may even try to approach you in secrecy and a little bit sneaky. You may actually close the door on them as well because you've got other things. You've got other really good things going on as well. So this is really saying, go for it, take action. There is something that you're passionate about. If it's a project, a new job, whatever it is that drives you, that gets you out of bed. Yeah, you, regardless of gender, you're being represented as the queen of wands. Yeah, you could even be traveling. Look at that, we've got the three of wands. How beautiful is this? It is considered, just like the world card, having the three of wands or the three of Gabriel, it's exactly the same, just different words. It's considered a very good omen. It is considered very lucky. You may actually have to be called very early on because I'm seeing this even before June. So, <clears throat> excuse me, it may happen around Gemini season or a lot earlier where you're being called to take action about something because it says, look at that, prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So, uh, just something before we move on that I have to see here is that... Uh, the whole situation of romance and love may not be on your mind very early on in 2023. Not because you don't want to, it's just that your attention is being commanded somewhere else here as well. But I will say this, is that this person may take action towards you though. See, it's like the person waiting for the right time to strike. Yes, I do quotation marks um, quite a lot. Perhaps they have to build up their confidence because if anything, regardless of the gender, I'm seeing here that uh, you're, you're quite ambitious. You know what you want. You want to take 2003 by the horns. You want to hit the ground running here. You may be offered a job or you're actually, if you're pitching, if you're applying, you may be called upon to take action and meet that other person that you want to work with in the middle here as well. But this is finally your ship coming in, your rewards coming in. So basically, whatever you've been working towards, you've got a yes. Beautiful. Ah, we've got solutions. Look at that. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience forgiving and healing energy. So this person that wants to just suddenly appear out of your life, um, I honestly don't see that you're really going to give them much attention. 
I don't really see that. If anything, um, some of it may be too late where you're too far gone doing your own thing. I see being very busy here. Some of you are probably not even going to take a break during the holidays. But if anything, this is like kind of saying, I will slow down here as well. Um, but all the success here happened because you worked your butt off for this. And I feel like this has been going on for at least three years or more. And now 2023 says we're going to reward you here as well. You've been patient. You've been more than patient here as well. Not just with work, but with people around you here as well. So now with the time to forgive and release. As I said here before, that's why we have, you've got your, you know, you're taking your final bow and you're like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Let's see. Yep. Page of Gabriel, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, you're going to get excellent news. It's the news that you wanted to hear and then some. I think it's going to exceed your expectations. The Page of Wands means you may be offered a job. If you've pitched an idea, some will say, you know what? We like it. Yes. Yes. To, you know, to investment, to financiers and all that. Clearly, it says follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge opportunities for excitement and adventure so yes i'm probably seeing some travel if there's no travel for you it's just movement we're finally getting the ball rolling here and it's saying it's the success really it's all thanks to you you got to pat yourself on the back no one gave you this <laughs> at all and I, I do see that whatever you're planning can pretty much be worldwide success here as well though but say yes say yes to the opportunities because you've worked for it and you've waited a, a really long time for this also, that person that does come back, I do see that they're hoping, crossing the fingers, that you're going to perceive them as someone that, yeah, I'd like to have you back in my life, that you're going to receive them very well. But if anything, I do see perhaps the first half of the month is you're thinking more about this, what's exciting you. Justice, in the beating heart of your reading, look at this, fight for justice and equality, rulings made in your favor, don't give up, ruled by Libra. So I do already see that you're going to be signing some very important documents. You could be selling a house, buying a house, renting a house, buying a business, being in partnership here. Um, exactly. Someone is sending you some documents. Again, to not be afraid to negotiate here. Now, another thing I must say, this is a very positive card. On its own, it's a yes card. So if you're trying to finalize a divorce here, um, or if you're somehow, you know, wrapped yourself up in the legal system, you know, it, it's going to go in your favor. It's a very positive card. It also comes with apologies, where someone wants to make up for lost time, lost love. They want to balance the scales here. This person could actually be at a certain distance from you as well, like overseas, um, or they could just feel that emotional distance here. That's why they're coming back with a solution thinking, I would really like to balance things out now because there's a huge imbalance between you and this past person, as we can see here. But again, it's almost like spirit is saying, Jim and I, this is good. This person's coming back with good intentions, but we need your attention here for something that you have worked your butt off. Do not forget how you cry. Don't forget all the energy um, that you put into it. And now you're getting excellent news. I'm, I'm seeing a big celebration. They just showed me a champagne bottle. You know, when a, you, the, the champagne cork, that's what I'm trying to say. Yep, the Knight of Cups. Look at that committed romantic uh, relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So we know that Knights are messages, they are changes. So yes, your person could be wanting some form of reconciliation here for you as well. Um, I am seeing a genuine apology here um, because I want to right all the wrongs that they have done to you. I mean, after all, to see, to be at the end of this, for this person to give you the Ten of Swords, that's pretty tough. You know, it's almost like if even if it didn't happen this year, if it happened last year or the year before, because I'm seeing the last two or three years, it was like this. It was it was a lot. And now they want to make things right. They want to start off the year on a clean slate here, which is I'm thinking some of you might say, yes, I forgive you. But this is commanding like I'm going to say 98 percent of your life here. You're going to be very, very busy here. Again, do not be afraid to negotiate, but things will turn out in your favor. And here they want to reignite that spark. They want that love again. And there you are. The Queen of Swords, regardless of gender, though. Beautiful. And yes, if you're wondering, yes. So when these cards were created, they did put Louise Hay there as a dedication to her. For those that follow the work of Louise Hay, that is actually her right there. <laughs> That's pretty cute. But it says here, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. Now, didn't I just say that? That it's like 98% of your time is being commanded here um, for everything that you've been working for. This is definitely your ex coming back. 
and it's like I don't have time for this I don't have time for drama in fact you're pretty much a closed book with this person you're not really telling them everything that's going on your true thoughts your true feelings which is very smart Gemini because now you're very discerning about the people that you allow to re-enter your life. Again, I'm seeing here communication, signing contracts, but you're being very strategic here as well. Very objective, very patient, and it's going to pay off here. What else do we have? We've got a lot of people around you. We've got three queens. The Queen of Cups. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. So it's not me, it's you. It's your listening to your intuition. It's filling up your own cup here as well. So when we're talking about people around you, especially early, I, I'm seeing this is like the majority is like early, um, like early 2023, way before June though. You know, we have people taking action towards you here, giving you the contract. We have, in other words, really well-meaning people here as well. But I think for you, it's going to be the year of, I wanna take care of myself. I wanna put myself first. I wanna make multiple streams of income, for example. Um, but yeah, again, we do have this person coming back here, offering you that cup of love though, because I wanna make things right. It's been ages though, since the last time you saw this person though. And we have you. The Eight of Swords, that is Gemini energy. Look at that, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change the situation because perhaps you're not seeing things clearly though. This could be sometimes our emotions or our thoughts are a little bit clouded here, but see the person here is open to the gate. You're walking away. I think for the vast majority of you, you are never ever gonna go back to this past person. In fact, if anything, where is it? Um, I see you meeting someone new and they def definitely could be connected at work. Absolutely. Yeah, because look at that, no more that five of pentacles because of those abandonment issues yes we may still be carrying them around but we cannot cut everyone here with the same sword let me just get these cards here yeah i think you're you're releasing you're walking away no more going to the past it's it's there for a reason i want to clarify these cards before we move on to the um energetic the big energies for 2023 Yeah, so I, yeah, they said no more. So I am seeing that your career, your passion projects, anything that you're working, that's going to, that's really going to dominate 2023, but it's going to be very successful here. You just got the devil that came out. So I would just say, try not to burn the candle at both ends though. That's all. I know it's easy for, for me to sit here and say that, but sometimes when it's when we do too much and you know, we've got nothing left, <laughs> you know, the tank is empty. All right. They said two more. Last one. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Gemini 2023 is you, of course. And just when you least expect it, you indeed might meet your soulmate. Absolutely. This is like the perfect partnership here. And it's also choices where there's mutual love, mutual friendship, mutual respect here from one another. Um, some of you actually already are probably in a business relationship as well or will be, you know, because I do see that you're, that you've got really well-meaning people around you. If you kind of look at this, you did not really get any challenging cards. You know, if anything, the Eight of Swords is like just free up your mind here you know this is just more mental anguish about oh do i take this person back and is this too good to be true no 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 no, no. it's not yeah, you're gonna have to make look at that it's all about choices two of swords two of pentacles libra capricorn energy here see that you're gonna be really really busy but it's almost like how can i say this for some of you if you're afraid of making the wrong decision i'm gonna tell you right now you're not going to make the wrong decision because you've got the sun. That's my favorite card. It's pure happiness, joy, bliss, blessings. It could be dealing with a Leo here as well. You know, here it's like, I'm a bit confused. Do I take this person back or do I not? I've got all this going on here. Um, I'm seeing a lot of papers. I'm seeing stacks of papers here. You're going to make the right choice. Do not worry. In fact, some of you may be traveling. This could be for pleasure. This could be for work. It's definitely going to a hot, sunny place. This is the fastest card and the happiest card with... Um, cancer energy right there it's all about success it's about determination here the people that enter your life i wouldn't say to don't dismiss them because with the six of pentacles taurus energy they are coming with good intentions you will be paid what you owed for those that are struggling financially loans debts bills they're all going to be paid off here as well those scales yes uh, a little bit imbalanced but they will be balanced in fact Whatever's happening here with your career, you're going to be super victorious here. Look at that. We've got the Empress, the most abundant card. Literally, like, this is all because of your hard work. Wow. 
Some of you may actually also receive news of getting, you know, being pregnant here as well. That looks really good as well. Yeah, and it's going to be successful. All right, let's get back to your main reading. The Queen of Gabriel. Yep, Two of Wands. So that's Aries energy. That is your person looking out. They're holding on to one wand. They're holding on to um, their phone. So they may reach out to you quite early saying, see, we jump from the two to the three of wands saying, I would like, you know, some form of resolution. Can we talk about what I did to you in the past? But I really think here that uh, you don't have time for this person, though. You may want to hear them out, though. That would offer a lot of clarity. Now, again, the two of wands means new partnerships, new business, new homes, you know, new loans. Everything that's new is coming into your life here and it will directly impact you in a positive way. Look at that. We've got the queen and the king of wands, uh, swords. Sorry. Yep. Wow. We've got a lot of people that are going to help you reach your goal. So like I said, if you're applying for a job, if you're pitching um, an idea here, if you need someone to finance something, um, you need people to back you up, it is gonna happen here. We've got really like boss energy here. Absolutely, I do see an ex definitely coming back though. They wanna talk to you, set things, they wanna kind of like set the record straight and all that. On the solutions, we have the five of pentacles, Taurus energy. That's why I don't think here that, I don't think you're going to bite this person's head off, you know, metaphorically, but that's your last memory of them. And that's not nice. They perhaps gave you the cold shoulder and they kind of left you out in the cold. Perhaps also, you know, they ghosted you, they did a runner or whatever lame excuse they gave you as to why they couldn't be with you, that it was very unjust. It was very unfair. And you are definitely, you've learned a lot from this on you know, just being very discerning now and not to, to be, a, I mean, you, you're never a doormat, but you know what I'm trying to say is that you would never ever be a doormat for anyone. And also if you've had issues with your finances, if there's been money that's being lost, stolen, dwindling, if it's been hemorrhaging somewhere, if there's been loss of hours or loss of jobs here, do not worry because you will find the solution here. Don't worry because there's a lot of mental anguish here, but you've got the sun, you've got the empress, you've got kind of like the most of a lot here. Let's talk about the page of wands. Yep, the queen of wands again directly underneath look at that the queen of wands twice the only thing i can say is that it's a call to action from now until at least let's say april may i'm going to say april more um you're definitely going to be called here you'll be signing a lot of documents here and they're saying go for it be remember regardless of energy here the queen and the king of wands will only take action with something that they're being compelled to do, what they're passionate, what they love, what they believe in. And clearly, Gemini, you have a lot of dreams. You have a lot of aspirations here, which means also the end of money worries here as well, because you're taking action here. Communication, taking action and love. It's like we're balancing everything out this year. It's amazing. Let's talk about justice. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now we've got two kings, we've got three queens. A lot of grown up energy here is around you. So definitely I'm seeing that uh, you may be receiving an offer here. It's definitely a yes here from someone. It's a decision maker. This is like a business owner, a manager, entrepreneur here. They're very good with their money, um, very generous with their money here as well. They have very good intentions. This is also a family person here as well. They're making the decision. But here you are thinking, is this too good to be true? I'd say probably the only challenge for you, Gemini, is to kind of get out of your head and listen more to your heart, though, because sometimes we can fall into worst case scenario. But just look at the imagery here. Only you can set yourself free. It's all in your thoughts. That's the thing. Um, now, another thing here is I think you know if your person here was separated or divorced, whatever status of the relationship was here, I think they've abandoned it. But... That's the thing, your last memory of this person is that they abandon you, which is why you're not going to repeat cycles ever again. This year is about you and it's about propelling you forward. It's like a catapult, really. It's like you just keep going forward here and I'm seeing so much movement. Let's talk about the Knight of Raphael. So why is this person coming back? Ten of Cups. Wow. Pisces energy. So that's reconciliation. It's happily ever after. There might be children involved here. That's what they want. But I think they're in for a big surprise because you're like, I am going somewhere else. You're not going to repeat anything. The one thing is that you want to grab the bull by the horns and you don't want to waste time. Not that you do, but you really want to kind of really value every set, you know, every day that you have every second here. But if anything for your career, your finances, it's just going to keep getting, I don't know what you're doing, Gemini, but you've got to pat yourself on the back. This is all the hard work that you've done. 
It's like from feeling like I'm never ever going to be successful, nothing's going to happen. It's like, boom, something's going to make you feel really, really good. So it's an offer here that is very lucrative, that's very grounded. It's, it's, it's promising and it's solid here. It's all thanks to this person first that gives you that contract. Listen to this person because they give you advice. They've been there and they've done it all. Let's talk about you. Yeah, see? Ten of Swords again. I think you're going to put an end to this person once and for all. Because that is your last memory. See, some of you may have received a call or a text message from this person. That was the last time you ever heard from them. Which is why now, it could be a form of self-protection that you're thinking more about your career and less about relationships. Yeah, but I do see strongly for the vast majority of you is that you may actually meet someone new somehow connected with work, with your career, with your passion, any projects that you're doing. But I have to say that tough times, they're, they're ending. You're going to end it. You are going to end this actively. You are going to end, not probably not speak to this person ever again. It's like, thank you, but no thank you. Let's talk about the Queen of Cups is the Hierophant. Taurus energy. Yeah, see, this is about marriage. It's commitment here as well. You're going to have to choose between two people. Remember, we had the Two of Swords. We had the Two of Pentacles. This definitely is an ex that's coming in your life. This also could be someone new. Now, please, we all do what we have to do, but this person sounds a lot more promising versus this person here as well. Yeah, I think you're putting an end to a commitment, a marriage here, one that made you feel trapped here, here as well. I feel like going back to this past person is not going to be good. If anything, they're just going to keep holding you back. They could even be jealous of your success here as well. I don't know. There, there are people that actually do that, but um, that's the end of it. Um, and I see you here first. You've been really thinking about yourself, but I'm seeing commitment here. If not marriage, doing the right thing for yourself here with this person, not with your ex. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Wands. Drop those wands now. You're going to realize that you've been thinking of the worst case scenario about your every single area of your life. Drop these wands. Sagittarius energy, because look what's in store for you. Look at the difference between these two tens. One more. Yeah, we got the strength card, Leo energy. That speaks of unconditional love for yourself. And also this person, this new person that's about to enter your life could be around Leo season. So August, um, I must say that is also the return of physical health here. And it's also, I'm seeing a lot of you really getting into shape, taking care of your health here. And it's a strength to overcome the past, a strength to say no to this past person here as well. But I must say this, 98% of, uh, uh, of your life for 2023 is your passion project. It's going to take off. Literally, it's going to grant every single wish here. Like, wow. So I'm going to say it's going to be a very successful year. Strategy, see? Yeah. There's, there's, I, I'm seeing you signing documents, um, looking over papers, strategizing your next move here. We've got the thinking man. We've got someone thinking about you. This could be you, deep in thought. Um, but if you are dealing with a divine masculine, yeah, it's this person's thinking about you a lot. If you are, uh, but they broke your heart, see? No, no more. And if you're pitching, if you're working professionally with someone else, they are indeed thinking about you a lot. You're making waves. I like this. Your career is going to take off. But it's like your dream job. A lot. I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be your own boss. Yeah. Three more, they're saying? Two more. Last one. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Bottom of the deck, contract, there we go. You're gonna be signing something and it's number six. Six is all about equal give and take. It's about balance, it's about healing. Wow. Yeah, and it's gonna go in your favor. We jump from the six to the seven community. That's my three of cups. It's a card of celebration. So it's almost like I'm seeing Libra, I'm seeing Cancer energy here as well. You know, having, they're also saying, don't forget to also have fun along the way. Perhaps the last few months has been work, 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 work. And it's like, oh, it's like that devil energy. It's like you're probably doing too much of something. Am I doing too much? Nothing's happening. I'm not seeing the, you know, I'm not reaping the rewards. But this is celebration. Again, popping the champagne bottle I'm seeing. Celebration. This can also indicate um, uh, in engagements, uh, marriages, the announcements of a pregnancy here as well. Yep. Like I said, some of you could be traveling. Now, if you know that travel, it's not going to happen. Again, this is movement. You're moving forward. You're moving away from the past. The future is yours. I love this. There we are. See, like I said, that is like the eight of um, the eight of swords, which is Gemini energy. No more of that. And the healer. Yeah. 
number six see five plus one is six we're healing and there's look at that see we always end with the strength don't we the strength to overcome this so i would say don't believe the bs in your mind because things are actually going to work out for you but i'm seeing definitely new love for the vast majority of you connected to your career let's get to the main energies blossoming abundance how beautiful is that i see the the empress in that card we literally have not only is this a lucrative contract but it comes with a lot of money here as well and i'm also seeing emotional um, abundance here not with this person i'm definitely seeing with this new person they're definitely connected somehow to your career um, whether regardless if you've met this person or not um, this is your happily ever after and it's all about 2023 i want to see more about this ex yeah you know you're not going to go back to them no they just broke your heart and they probably will continue to as well because I'm, I'm just keep getting that they really took you for granted they took your presence for granted let's um continue more yep patience <laughs> so you've been more than enough in fact if we kind of look at these cards how it says self-control and patience and we've got patience here also as well you've been more than patient with this past person more than patient with anything that you've been building here with your career and your finances what are they saying it's going to pay off do not worry it's going to pay off i feel like some of you have been living very financially restricted and that's just about to change look at that once you sign that and do not be afraid like i said to negotiate um but once you sign that contract everything changes for you more please look at that walking away it's like my eight of cups yep you're walking away from that which no longer serves you people situation events this could be friends could be family the ex they no longer serve you in fact they're probably just they're going to be quite detrimental in other words this is good you're also walking away from pain walking towards blossoming abundance more please aha uh -huh uh-huh caring connections look at that regardless of gender or same-sex relationships you are walking away from the broken heart and what does it do so when the eight walks towards the nine of cups which is a wish fulfillment here i, I i'm seeing for the vast majority of you going to be either very very committed you might find yourself engaged and married next year as well more please look at that we also got financial constraints that's about to change because we have the knight of cups we have the ten of cups we have also the financial constraint three plus one is four so yes patience will be needed here to grab you know to accumulate that money but it is coming absolutely now i must say with this x um i do have to give you a heads up though i am feeling that they're not doing very good with money so if they do come back saying oh, money's not good if they ask you for money I think you know what to say i don't think you will because that five of pentacles is showing money being lost stolen hemorrhaging money's never going to get repaid to you so just be very wary that this person may come and kind of suck you dry if you know what i mean yeah more please yeah the angel of balance this is beautiful like i said i feel like it's just been work 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 what about fun what about going out what about romance here because you've been extremely patient with every area of your life here more please why am i not surprised that you have this card you know a lot of the other zodiac signs have been getting the envy card so what happens because i really feel here that whatever you sign is going to change your life this new job this new offer someone saying yes to you because again i do see that you're going to meet someone romantic at work people might be quite jealous of you they find you very attractive um very intelligent here as well you kind of demand you command the room here in other words but um you know when you make noise good people start to turn around but also the crappy people it's not going to affect you though another thing i must say i see you definitely walking away from friends and family members who don't have the best intentions you probably know who they are already yeah you know these caring connections and all that and i, I did pick up that for if you had an ex that they were probably quite jealous of you so that that's already confirming what i just said before yeah you're walking away to what you're walking away to door to personal healing and happiness this is going to be your year you are so not going to regret this year <laughs> oh my god this is beautiful i'm absolutely loving this reading all right mm, please more look at that time to go time to go walking away you're going towards your brand new life 
the new people that are about to enter your life, I think they're all professional. Look at that, truth be told, this is your ex. They're trying to remove the mask, but it's. I think it's a little too late, Gemini. Because I do know that once you cut someone out from your life, you do it for a very good reason. There's a very valid reason. And uh, yeah, right, this is all about new connections now. More please. Gemini, big energies, please, for 2023. Every, thank you. Everything and anything they should know about for their highest good, for the collective, please. And last one. All right, here we go. What else do we have? We've got the yang energy. So obviously this is the more masculine energy. Yin is the feminine energy of receiving. This is you giving as well, but it's more about taking action. So every time I see this card, I see like the emperor energy. It's time to take action. It's time to walk away now. It's time to go. Um, and some of you are definitely traveling here. You might find yourself living abroad for a while. And I see it's definitely deeply connected to your passion projects, to your work here as well. Mm, but maybe it's telling you to take action here, to walk away from friends um, and the ex. They, for some reason, they don't want to see you happy. And that's pretty crappy. You don't want that. And I do see here that you're still healing and balancing some past trauma here as well. Bottom of the deck is a leg up. Yeah. So this is receiving the help that you need, the backup that you need. So I do see we had some queens, we had the king here, um, and I do see that that can help you. So the bank is not you know empty here as well. So we're getting really good help. You've got one of the best cards in this deck. Happy, happy. How beautiful is that? You're going to be receiving excellent news. Yep. And look at that. That's you leaving your past behind between the worlds. That is the past. The, you know, the colors have been, you know, desaturated. The future's looking bright for you. What else do we have? Not for you. What are they saying? Perhaps this person, this past person is not for you. The current circumstances in your life, you've outgrown them and they are not for you as well. I think you already know that because I'm seeing here that you've been more than patient, desperate for change. Yeah. And now we've got yin. So see how we have the yin and the yang. You'll be in a state here where you have to take action, but open your arms to receiving. Receiving all this blossoming abundance. You're going to get a yes for what, anything that you apply for. Um, like I said, even if it's a loan, or if you pitched an idea, you need someone to finance it. You're looking for whatever it is that you're looking for. It's yes, receive it with open arms. And yes, we do have new romance coming your way. D d I see that deeply connected to your finances and your career because there will be a change in the wind especially with your finances beautiful what else breathe perhaps you'll be called to do some mindfulness breath work um this could even did i say meditation here as well yep this could even be yoga something to do with the breath here because sometimes when we're anxious we breathe a lot from our chest instead of from our stomach though but I'm always getting the energy that you can finally put your shoulders down. There's a change. You've been more than patient enough. Round and round. This never-ending cycle with this past person here as well. I think you're going to break this cycle this year. That's what's going to happen. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because that bores you. And no, no more. You desperately want change and it's going to happen. More please. Mending. So clearly this past person does want to come back. You know, we've got the merry-go-round, the cycle that never ends. Here they come back. They want to mend this. And I think you're realizing that first you want to mend the relationship you have with yourself because there is a big change in the wind and it's almost like your spirit team wants the best version of you so you're ready so you can actually enjoy it because you're going to have to take action and then have your arms open to receive all the wonderful opportunities here. But uh, definitely expect this past person here. Um, and we could also have a friend here trying to repair something that they will say to you that you're like, yeah, I'm going to walk away. This is not good for me. More please. Why? Yeah. Why are you coming back? Oh my God, caring connections, why? So we don't have to know all the answers to everything. You know, if it's true, as they say, that the soul is eternal, we've got literally an eternity to find out the answers. We don't have to 
hurry up and find the answers in this lifetime but it is under the envy card and i saw that they said these two are connected um you may actually be walking away from certain friends and family members that probably will hurt you um only because they're kind of like jealous to be honest it's something to be afraid of it's like well why are you doing this why is this person coming back around here as well i think you've got a lot of questions they do want to mend things but i just see you putting an end to this cycle and I see also with your work, there's new work here, new opportunities. Now is the time to start learning, to start, you know, absorbing information, to take action here as well. I see you asking a lot of questions. Look at that. We've also got new life. So again, this could be a pregnancy um, this year. For me, this is an ace. It encompasses all the aces here. Yes, this past person wants to breathe new life into this. You know, they want a second chance. But I think that uh, you're going to break that cycle, though. No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, see, you're going to break that cycle because it's a never-ending story. Look at you. You're just sitting on the table thinking, I'm so bored of this. I want change. The change that I've been working so hard for, and it's going to happen. Yeah. I, I see for the vast majority of you that at least you're probably going to hear this person out, but you're still going to break it because it's like never-ending story. But still, why? Round and round. That's boring you. You are going to be the one to break this. The tribe. Mm. This could be your family. This could be your new co-workers. This could be your friends. And it is on top of the envy card. So it's not to scare you, but you will know, in other words, uh, who to walk away from, who to not say so much to, you know, in other words, you're going to be very discerning here as well. But if anything, I do see a lot of you having a new job, changing locations and finding a new tribe here as well. Wow. Just be mindful. We don't have to tell everyone everything. And that's why we got the high priestess though. Wow, this is going to happen soon. TikTok. Look at that. And three. Three is the number of the universe. So TikTok is not that, ooh, is this going to happen? No, it, it's like, it's just a matter of time. This is going to happen pretty soon. It's like, yes, we've got your past person coming back. We've got a change in the wind. You've got to be asking a lot of questions here as well. We've got the never-ending story. We've got the tribe here. But uh, TikTok, that's fast. Fast movement. So I see you signing. In other words, job change, increased finances, travel, movement, that's all going to pretty much be happening. Would not be surprised March, April, maybe May. I see it happening very soon though. In regards to this new love though, definitely connected to your professional life. Absolutely. And this definitely could be the ace there. This person could actually be mending your heart here as well. Yeah, I've just been, um, I'm looking at the why card. Yeah, it's like a lot of you are asking, why am I in this position? I'm at this certain age, I haven't done this, I haven't done that and all that. No, you're going to find your tribe. They're telling you, put your shoulders down, relax, there's a change in the wind. Yep, Every, but it's all because you worked so hard for it. Yeah, prosperity lies ahead, could be with the Taurus. Beautiful. All right, two more they said. Last one. Here we trying to make this as neat as possible bottom of the deck is you communication is key here to speak up for your needs your wants your desires you know especially what you don't want and what you will never ever put up with again and again don't be afraid to negotiate that's going to be a very big one um, for you it's time to release negativity to walk away because certain you know certain situations are not for you we'll be dealing with a scorpio yep don't let the past hold you back this definitely could be this past person coming back into your life, stepping out of your comfort zone, followed by you're very close to achieving your goal. It's like literally here at your doorstep. Yep. Well, influence of Virgo, they're saying that you are good enough. This change, this offer, if anyone wants to invest in you, if they want to finance your idea, if they want to offer you a job, it's because they know that there's value in you. That's why. Because look at that. A win-win outcome, um, outcome is forecast. We've got Libra again, signing documents. You can breathe, put your shoulders down. I've noticed that's a very big theme for you, Gemini, is signing something that will change your life. But you want this. You've worked for it. Take a time to breathe out. Didn't we just have that? Breathe breathe and if anything i think it's coming because it's like you've been holding your breath for the past five to eight years and now it's like it happened i did it so pat yourself on the back surrender to the divine yeah we don't have to be in control of everything 
just when we surrender, it's like things ebb and flow a lot more um, easily. Yeah, we're looking at the bigger picture. That's why you're probably asking why Sagittarius energy. Why did these things happen to me in the past? I don't want it to happen in the future, especially in the new year. And it's not going to. No, 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 no. So what is what are the lessons? Because you're asking why a lot. Well, what are the lessons for you? How has it shaped you now for 2023? Bring love into this situation, Aquarius. Bring love for the past person. Forgive them and let them go. Bring love now into this new person that is also coming into your life because emotions will be running very high. Look at that. This person still does love you. I must say that, but yeah. Yep, conclusions are within reach. Beautiful. Okay, followed by believe in the impossible because it's under TikTok. It's just, like I said, it's not, oh, is it going to happen? It's just a matter of time. It's when is it going to happen? And I must say, sooner rather than later. And this is all because you have worked your butt off. That's why. There is no one to thank you but you. So, new beginnings, a fresh start, pregnancy and birth. And there it was, see? The cards just keep confirming what I'm saying. I don't want to make this really messy for you. I'm just hearing a lot of you saying I'm tired. I'm tired of the same old, same old. I, you work so hard and it's like you don't get rewarded. That's just about to change now. That's why you have the Ten of Swords. That's the end of tough times. Now, I just want to put a really good shuffle in here for you because they're saying that I have to do it one more time. I know it's a lot of shuffling. New career, work changes. Yeah. Man, your career is about to take off. You're going to be really happy. You're going to find your tribe. They just get you. You get them. Thank you. Highlighted message. All right. Two more. Last one. All right. Here we go. Look at that. Happiness, joy, celebration. There's going to be a huge celebration here. That's what I'm seeing. The news, the offer that you're getting. Yep, especially with love, romance, love improvement, beautiful. Communication, important news and messages here about your money, your wealth, prosperity. Get busy, get moving, motivate, exercise, decisions, choices. This is between past person, new person. Yep, contracts, commitment, marriage. You're going to be signing. You're going to be signing something that will change your life and that's going to bring a lot of joy. Mm -hmm. some of you look at that we've got study focus analyze check the fine print of course before you sign something don't forget to also check um, don't forget to negotiate as i've been saying some of you are currently studying or will be going back to study that's going to be really really good that's actually going to pay off um, for you in the future we've got again you could be traveling overseas cruising along take your time it is on top of the breathe card as well so don't forget to stop don't forget to take care of yourself that's why you also have the queen of cups and as much as I'm against bullfighting, I wish they used a different image. We do have stand your ground. Be strong. This is definitely with your past person. It's okay to say no. They will get over it. New home, home improvement. So some of you definitely may be, as I said, living overseas for a while. That could be for pleasure, could be for work as well. Because we've got, it's all about change, transition, transformation. Like I said, you want that change. You work so hard for it and it's going to happen. We've also got children, childlike innocence. It is on top of the new life card. So again, there could be the announcement of, you know, the pregnancies, birth and all that. But this is also having more fun here as well. But I'm seeing these changes are going to bring out that childlike wonder. It's like, damn, it's good to be Gemini right now. Look at that. It's okay. You will be safe, secure, stay put. You'll be safe. You cannot make the wrong decision this year. We've got it again. New beginnings. A fresh start, pregnancies, birth here as well. That's going to be lovely. And holiday, time out and recharge. Look at that. Wow, we, something's going to be happening. Some of you are definitely traveling overseas here. I'm definitely seeing, I just said that. Look at that, travel, moving on and taking flight here. Gemini, this is going to be the year of a 2.0 version of you where you've learned your lessons now. We've got new love that is most likely definitely connected to your career, your professional life, your finances. I see you leaving behind certain people. It's going to have to be friends and also this ex that comes back. But it's all about signing something that will change your life and you deserve it because you've worked your butt for this. 
I mean, literally, you've got excellent news here regarding romance and your finances. I don't think you're really going to have time to sleep, but this is something that you've wanted and it's going to happen. I'm really happy for you, Jim, and I, I wish you the best for 2023. I will see you next week in 2023 um, with a brand new reading, fresh new topic, and I thank you for joining me. Much love to you. Take care. Bye.